This video is looking at the ideal client. Now those that have worked with me for a long time and heard me speak before know that I'm a huge believer of focusing on your ideal client. Who is it that you really want to work with? Who are your ideal customers that you want to get up in the morning and go and work with? Well, why, why not anybody? Well, at the end of the day, it is more rewarding, isn't it, to go and work with the people that we want to work with and puts a smile on our own face. It means that I can, I can focus my energies, I can focus my perhaps limited marketing resources in terms of time or money, in terms of focusing, as I say sometimes, with the rifle rather than the shotgun on my ideal customer from a marketing perspective. But once I understand that market, because I'm focused on the market, I can adapt to that market. I can observe any product or service gaps that I can perhaps fill with my own services. And that's mainly because I therefore then better understand the market and I'm therefore to show greater empathy when I'm talking to my prospects that I truly understand their business and they can engage with me. So, so how do we do that? Well, to actually try and identify our ideal client, we can do that in one of three ways. The first way is perhaps through customer profiling. Now we profile our customer, it may be our top 20% of our existing customer base or if I'm a new startup I may then have a consideration about who my ideal client is going to be. And that may be in a sector, it may be a sector that I have an experience in or I have a number of clients in already, somewhere where I can show my expertise. It might be the age of the business that I'm working with. You might want to work with startups or established growing businesses. It may be that you want to work within a particular location, maybe within X miles of your office, for example. Or you might work, want to work with particular size businesses. So we can profile our customers and then understand who we specifically want to target as our ideal client. Another way is segmentation, and there's a number of different segmentation tools. But what I particularly like is customer life stages. Customer life stages, i.e., let's take it, for example, from a bank's perspective. You get a customer who's a child to start with, then goes to school, then is a teenager, then perhaps gets married, then perhaps moves into their first house, then they may start a business, then they may sell that business, then they may retire. Their life cycle, their point of their life at different stages needs different services or different products. And where does your product or service fit into that segmentation, that life cycle for example? And the third area, and a critical area, is market research. Market research can help you to profile your ideal clients. And I mean effective market research. I don't mean just go and ask your family and friends who perhaps, most of the time, just pat us on the back and say, yes, yeah, a great idea. Go and speak to who you think is gonna be your ideal market. Try and understand what it is that they particularly want, why they're buying those services from somewhere else. And again, you'll build a picture about who is likely to be, therefore, your ideal client. And therefore, you can then take your profile and effectively market to those people for greater success in the future.